you see these videos, and I, I've seen quite a few of them, it's, it's hard to know what's real because there was one video that was being touted as uh, evidence that turned out to be footage from a video game. <laughs> you, do you see that? There was like some dogfight scenario that was it turned out to actually be footage from a video game. Yeah. And this is, I mean, this is a problem with the world we're living in today, right? It's, it's, there's so much chaos in terms of like uh, accurate information. But there's these videos of Russian convoys and there's these uh, essentially uh, they're using guerrilla tactics or hiding behind buildings and shooting these uh, yeah. grenade launchers and missiles at these tanks as they roll by and blowing them up and killing these Russians. Is all that stuff real? Yeah, that's that's real. One, one of the, the things that has emerged from this, if you're just looking at, at the battle spaces... You know, tanks may not be a thing anymore, right? Tanks were tanks were critical. You know, in World War One they showed up, and and um, you know, thank you Winston Churchill for you know pushing that along. Um, but now, you know, with the the available uh, you know systems that are in place, and we've been providing the javelins. Javelin is probably the most effective uh, anti tank weapon out there at this stage, anyway. Um, and it's proven it's 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 mobile, right? It's guided. It's extremely effective and so that has definitely changed the calculation right and i don't think they were anticipating that uh they probably weren't anticipating although they should have how could they not anticipate the effectiveness of the stingers right they faced that in afghanistan right that's what one of the, the key elements that got them out of afghanistan was you know the ability for the mushadin to shoot their you know platforms out of the sky 